United States maintains its lead over China, this time by 85 hundredths of a point. Japan is in third place with Germany still in fourth place. And here's a young man that's been doing yeoman work. You met his mother and father a little while ago live. Let's meet them again up close and in person. Consider the hard life of the movie star. Some days he spends writing his name a few hundred times, or being an MC at some shopping mall. But here is no movie star. His name is Mitch Gaylord, the national and NCAA gymnastics champion. He'll do anything to promote gymnastics. He comes from a big, warm family in Van Nuys, California. Remember how, back in the 50s, America sat and watched Ozzy and Harriet and Father Knows Best? Well, at the Backyard Barbecue in Van Nuys, it's Meet the Gaylords. I think we have an extremely special family, a close family, you know. A lot of love over here. <laughs> my dad has been super supportive, and I think that really affects my gymnastics. My sister, Janine, she's the youngest. Uh, she just recently got her a college scholarship to Stanford, and, you know, we're all pulling for that. My mom has been extremely supportive through my whole career. She's really taken an interest into it. She loves the sport. My brother Chuck and I used to compete in gymnastics when we were younger, so uh, we bounced off each other that way. We were competitive, but we still enjoyed the sport. It was for fun and everything. Mitch Gaylord has at times been overshadowed by names like Vidmar and Hartung, but what's in a name? At the NCAA championships this year, Mitch unveiled the Gaylord II, an extremely difficult and dangerous flip on the high bar. For this original move, the name Gaylord gets a share in gymnastic immortality. I'd have to say I've always been a pretty risky guy. I've been a daring type of person all my life, you know. The cliff diving, you know, this type of thing. <laughs> I just love the outdoors. I love the excitement feeling. There's something about that adrenaline run that really, it feels great. You know, I've done it all my life. And the reason I've stayed with gymnastics this long is partly because of that. The opinion of the public is gold medal this, gold medal that. And I really think they should know that gymnastics is striving for the bronze medal to put us on the map. And maybe by 88, we could, you know, go for the gold there. And that's really what we want to do is get on the map right now. <laughs> For Mitch Gaylord, 1988 will be too late. The demands on the body are too great to stay in competitive shape. Mitch is hot now. He's in peak condition and at the top of his sport. Brother Chuck left gymnastics three years ago and has a successful movie career. But for now, Mitch is just footloose and carefree, hoping to give all the Gaylords something to dance about. All right, Mitch.